Shugaban sojin Isra'ila ya amince cewa sojoji sun gaza wajen kare Isra'ila da al'ummarta lokacin da Hamas ta kaddamar da harhara ta kasa da sama da ta ruwa. Lieutenant General Hezi Halavi ya shida mani mala barai cewa bas iya ai watar da aikin da ke wuyan su ba amma sun dauki darasi. Ya ce da karin mu sune ke da alhakin samar da tsaruwa Isra'ila sai dai sun gaza a safiyar asabar saboda haka yanzu lokacin yaki ne. Shugaban yan adawar Isra'ila ya lafit ya kira harin na Hamas da gazawar gwamnatin Netanyahu da ba za a taba yafewa ba. Shirin samar da abinci na duniya yayi gargadin cewa abinci da ruwa na dab da karewa a gaza. Ya bayyana lamarin da mummunan yanayi yankin na fama da tashe tashen bama bamai tare da fuskantar toshewar duk wata hanyar samar da kayan agaji wanda Isra'ila ta ce ba za ta janye ba har sai an sako mutananta da Hamas ta garkuwa da su The humanitarian situation is deteriorating in a very bad way I've been Wakilin BBC ya ce rashin ayyukan jinkai na kara kazanta yanayin da ake ciki ya kuma je asibitocin yankin ya gane wa idan sa Dubin da batar mutane ne suka rasa muhallan su sakamakon harharan sama da Isra'ila ke kaiwa a Gaza. Burtaniya za ta tura jirage masu sa ido da jiragen sojojin ruwa a gabashin Baharum domin nuna goyen bayan ta ga Isra'ila. Opposition Prime Minister Burtaniya ya ce jiragen za su fara aiki ne a ranar Juma'a domin hana duk wani yunkuri na shigar da makamai ga kungiyar Hamas a yankin. Tunidi Amerika ta kaina ta tallafin jiragen a Isra'ila. To kuna sauraron labaran duniya ne daga nan sashin Hausa na BBC. Faransa ta haramta zanga zangar nuna goyen baya ga Palestina wa bayan da Hamas ta kai har ya Isra'ila. Ministan harkokin cikin gida Gerard Damani ya ce akwai yuwar masu zanga zangar su kawo cikas ga zaman lafiya lamarin da ka iya sanyawa a kama wadanda suka shirya zanga zangar. Faransa da ta fi kowace kasa a tura yawan Yahudawa da Musulmai na fuskantar zanga zanga kin jinin Yahudawa tun ranar Asabar lamarin da ya kai ga kama mutane sama da 20. Wata kotu a Sweden ta samu wani matashi mai shekaru 27 wanda ya kona al'urani da laifin ya da kiyayya mai alaka da kabilanci. Mutumin ya ce ya aikata hakan ne saboda ya bata addinin musulunci. Sai dai kotun ta yi watsi da hakan tana mai cewa hakan kamar kai wa musulmi hari ne. Bidiyar lokacin da mutumin ya kona Qur'anin na dauke da wata waka da ke kira da a shafe musulmai daga doran kasa. Masana shari'a na ganin cewa wannan hukuncin da ake ganin shine na farko da wuya yayi wani gagarumin tasiri. To ƙarshen labaran duniyar kenan daga nan sashin Hausa na BBC. Kama da la gaida rabatu kabir runga da labaran dunia neka sashang hausa na BBC. Toma da la. Sakatara harukwa kimu wajan Amerika Anthony Blinken ya ba Israela tapa chungwa ya mba yang asasa ayaki ndatake ya ida kwengiar Hamas. Zidi ya kira ka Israela datapuchichu tada para hula a rikichung. Israela wa kala tubut yeda dadi ukul ni akakashi ya ina palis ina wapi yeda tubut yeda dadi hudu sakarasara ya kansu a rikichung. Karu hoto mbiliki sababa ngida. Ya inda yake magana a wani taron mane ma labarai a birnin Tel Aviv Mr Blinken ya ce yayi magana da dangin wadanda kungiyar Hamas ta cafke ta kuma yi garkuwa da su lokacin harin ranar Asabar ya kuma kara da cewa Amurka za ta yi duk abin da ya kamata wajen ganin an fito musu da ƴan uwan nasu This afternoon uh, I met with families of American citizens that Hamas has killed or taken hostage Ya ce da yammacin yau na gana da iyalan Amurkawan da Hamas ta kashe ko yi garkuwa da su girman bacin ran su da asarar da suka tafka ba ta musaltuwa da iyalan wadanda suka bata akwai matukar nuna bakin ciki na rashin sanin makomar ƴan uwan nasu wani abu da ba na tsammani a kasaran mu za mu yi fahimta ko iya tunani idan aka ce kai ne a cikin irin wannan hali da suke ciki ba na fatan wani ya shiga irin halin da suka shiga muna yin duk wani abu da za mu tabbatar da ganin an sako wadanda aka yi garkuwa da su muna aiki tare da abokan huddar mu na Isra'ila Kasar Faransa za ta haramta duk wata zanga zangar nuna goyen bayan Palestinawa biyo bayan harin kungiyar Hamas akan Isra'ila. Ministan harkokin cikin gida Gerard Damanin ya bayyana cewa akwai yiwuwar hakan zai haddasa matsaloli na tayar da hankulan jama'a kana zai kai ga haifar da cafke wadanda suka shirye zanga zangar da kuma su kansu mutanen da ya kira masu tada zaune tsaye. 
kasar faransa wacce gida ne mafi girma ga al'umar yahudawa da musulmi masu tarin yawa a nahiyar turai ta shede har haran nuna kin jinin yahudawa tun a ranar asabar inda aka cafke mutane fiye da 20 a baya dai shugaban gwamnatin jamus olaf scholz ya alƙawarin cafke kungiyoyin kasar ta jamus da ke goyen bayan kungiyar hamas ya kuma ce wannan zai hada da tara kudade da kuma duk wasu tarika da suka nuna allamu na daukakar ayyukan kungiyar ta hamas Rotan Bilkis baban gida kenan to headquarters ran Nigeria ta ce akalla yan ta adda 50 ne suka rasu rayukan su a farmakin da sojoji suka kai a wasu yankuna uku na kasar a cikin mako guda ta ce wato ta kuma ce sojoji sun nasarar kama yan bindiga fiye da dari ga rahotan Zubair Ahmad Kasarawa Baya ga farmaki ta sama da runar sojin Najeriya ta kai a jar Zamfara da ya sanar dan halakar yan bindiga fiye da 100 tare da lalata makamansu da Babura daratun sashin watsa labarai na rundunar sojin Najeriya Manjojina Edward Buba ya bayyana cewa rundunar hadarin daji ta samu nasarori masu dimbin yawa a jar Kaduna inda ta halaka yan ta adada dama tare da lalata sansanonin su On the 2nd of October troops while conducting offensive operations made contact with terrorists in Biningwari local government area of Kaduna state a ranar biyu ga watan Oktoba da karun mu dake aikin samar da tsaro a yankin Birnin Gwari na jihar Kaduna sun yi musayar wuta da yan ta'adda inda suka halaka hudu tare da gano bindigogi kira da AK47 biyar da kuma babura 16 haka ma tsakanin ranar kun hudu da biyar ga watan na Oktoba lokacin da dakarun soji ke sintiri sun samu nasarar kama wasu masu aikata manyan laifuka 26 tare da masu satar mai da adana shi ba bisa kaida ba a gwagwala da dake yankin Birnin tarayya Abuja and oil bunkers in Gwagalada area council and Abuja municipal council of the FCT Mai magana da yawun rundunar sojin ta Najeriya yace rundunar ta kuma samu ta gagarun manasara a karamar hukumar mulki ta Safana a jar Katsina The location was active with terrorist activities accordingly it was acquired and attacked with rockets Yanki ne da yan bindiga ke ci gaba da ayyukan su na ta'addanci mun samu labari game da su wanda wannan ya ba mu damar kai musu hari da makamar roka inda muka tarwatsa su tare da lalata makaman nasu rundunar dakaru ta hadirin daji ta kuma halaka yan ta'adda tara a wurin kazalika ta samu nasarar kama 12 da kuma ceto mutum 25 da aka yi garkuwa da su arrested 12 of them and rescued 25 kidnapped Manjo General Edward Buba ya ambata chewa soji na Nigeria sonke hara harita sama ayankuna ndamboa da goza da badagali da kejara parano inda soke rongro koki gugungu nyambo kuharam ya chewa akudu masu wagabas maasu mpata tekele damari gama ya kaa ayapop da gungu nkwongi ya mazapa da keche nama mbotani akalama hukuma mwuliki tekwe da kejara imu Zubairo Ahmad Kasrawa, BBC Hausa, Abuja, Nigeria Ayi riga kowa da irin tasa a Najeriya wasu jihohi dake yankin Arewa maso ya matan kasar sun yin kuro wajen daukar matakan shawakan matsalar rashin tsaro dake addabar jihohin su a baya bayan nan ne gwamnatin jihar Katsina ta kaddamar da rundunar ran yan banga da za su yi aiki tare da jami'an tsaro domin dakile ayyukan yan fashin daji da yan ta'adda duka dai an ba su ga horon suwa ne gata an tana da musu kai aiki wanda kai aiki da aka tana musu da muka yi sai kudin sun kai kusan kimanin naira biliyan 10 da motoci da babura da gurin zama da ofisoshi duka da za su zanna domin su aiki shin ko falliya za ta biya kudin sabulu wada ne hanyoyi ne ya kamata a bi domin inganta tsaro a wadannan jihohin wannan na cikin batuttuwan da zamu tattauna a filin ra'ayi riga na wannan makon to madalla da fatan za ku turo muna da ra'ayoyinku a hanyoyin da aka saba to shugaban Bola Ahmed Tinubu ya nada wala Olukoyode a matsayin sabon shugaban hukumar yaki da cin hanci da rashawa ta kasar wato EFCC nadin na zuwa ne bayan watanni uku da dakatarwar da shugaba Tinubun yayi wa Abdul Rashid Bawa a matsayin shugaban hukumar ta EFCC wanda har yanzu yana tsare a hannun mahukuntan kasar ga rahotan Abdullahi Bello Dingiza 
Sanarwar ta ce Nadim Mr. Ulu Koyade na tsawon shekara hudu ne a matakin farko amma sai majalisar dattawa ta tabbatar da shi mai magana da yawan shugaban kasar Juri Ingilale ya ce shugaban cin hukumar yaki da cin hanci da rashawa na kasar na samun sauye-sauye cikin yan watannin da suka gabata tun bayan hawan bola ta nubuka ragar mulki a ranar 29 ga watan Mayu a ranar 14 ga watan Yunin 2023 ne bola ta nubu ya dakatar da Abdurashid Bawa a matsayin shugaban hukumar EFCC kuma har yanzu yana tsare a hannun hukumar mi ba tare da an gurfanar da shi a gaban shari'a ba sanarwar dakatar da Abdurashid Bawa ta ce an dauki matakin ne dan bada damar yin sahihin bincike kan yadda ya gudanar da aiki a lokacin shugabancin nasa matakin ya zo ne bayan zarge zarge masu nauyi na tozar ta mukamin sa kamar yadda sanarwar dakatar da shi din ta bayyana kusan dai wannan wata al'ada ce ta shugabancin hukumar EFCC domin kuwa tun bayan kafa hukumar shugabannin ta ba sa wanyewa lafiya da mukaman nasu Mr. Ingilale ya ce matakin da shugaban kasar ya dauka na nada Ulu Kayade a matsayin sabon shugaban EFCC ya samu asali ne daga damar da aka bashi bisa tanadin dokar da ta kafa hukumar EFCC a shekarar 2002